let me ask you this, and, and your journey is ongoing, and you mentioned before that you ran in 2018. And to borrow from my book, Nothing Minor, there's a quote from one of the players that says you either win or you learn a lesson. What would you say are some of the lessons that you learned in 2018 that you feel are going to help you as you take this next step? Well, you know, I'm a, I heard you um, speaking about, um, you know, winning and, and the lessons that you learn. I also know that you're involved in sports as well. Um, I, I was a sports, I was an athlete. And so one of the things that I learned a long time ago is that you never give up. Um, I learned that early age playing basketball back in Tarboro, North Carolina, you just don't give up because, um, you know, if you put in the hard work, practice um, and you, um, you know, you give it your all in a game, you're not going to win every game. Um, but if you continue to practice, you continue to put in the work, um, you know what is required of you, you can win. Um, and and I, I think that um, uh, the legendary Jimmy Valvano said it best, you know, he's, and I quote, he said, don't give up, don't ever give up. And so that was a lesson that I learned then. Um, and I'll be quite honest with you, I was not prepared to run in 2018. And we actually started our journey back in July of 2017. Um, I was um, actually um, asked or encouraged to run. Um, and so I had not planned. I did not have a consultant at the um, beginning of the campaign. Um, I was, you know, I was encouraged to run because you know, people saw something in me that I could, um, you know, lend to the bench. Um, and so uh, the lessons learned, I would say, is have a, have a plan, make it plain, and work that plan, no matter what it is that you're um, striving to do. Like I said, I've been a public servant for, for many years, um, and I cannot um, go through this interview without mentioning my involvement with the Gwinnett County Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Um, I've been serving since college, um, and uh, this is for me about service. This is the ultimate as an attorney um, to serve the community uh, as a judge. Um, and so I, I would simply say that the lessons learned were um, be prepared. Um, and, you know, you, you've, uh, you've probably heard the, the slogan before, um, if you remain ready, you don't have to get ready. Um, <laughs> that is just so very true. Um, it goes something like that. Um, but um, but that, is, that is definitely true. Um, I met a lot of people and we laid the groundwork back in 2017 and 18. So I don't, um, you know, I don't regret having gone through that campaign for over a year and not winning. Um, I was told when I started, well, most people don't win their first time around. You know, you build your, um, you build your name, you build your reputation, uh, you get to meet people throughout the community. Uh, and some people win their first time, but, um, you're talking about, as a, as a judge, you're talking about a countywide position. So you're trying to reach over, uh, you know, close to a million people. And so as opposed to maybe, you know, 30,000 people um, in a, you know, in a district or something, you're trying to reach the entire county. So the, I would say that the lessons learned were, you know, perseverance. Um, I know, and I knew at that time that being a judge is a part of my purpose. And so I knew that I couldn't give up. I knew that, um, that, you know, this was something that I had been called to do and had been groomed to do. And every single experience, both prof professional and personal, had groomed me to be a judge. 